Yo, yo, we back again. We back again. Yo, it's your boy Big Chase, Man K101 Podcast. Spread brother, spread love the Brooklyn way. You know what we do around here. You know I'm hanging out with my brother, K Lo K. Leo, what's going on, bro? What's good, people? We talking about something I like. <laughs> we talking about hey, something I like. We got I've been drinking. Like. I've been drinking. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? We back with another artist spotlight where we search all around the big ass internet, find the greatest creators in the planet, in the universe. We bring them to you to hook you up so you can get your hands on some of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So listen, man. Uh, a few months ago, I was searching through my social media, man, and I came across a brother was talking about something I like. I mean, we like this is the man, K, right? We be drinking. We be drinking. And um, yo, he was just talking about black owned brands, black owned liquor brands. I'm like, pause, liquor and black people? What, what are we doing? I see, yo, listen, hold on. So, you know, he has turned me on to a few brands that are now standards on my shelf. I figured I better bring this to the people. If you saw our 100th episode, you saw us- Still getting over that. You saw us uncork <laughs> one of these brands and whatnot. But um, listen, without further ado, let me bring them on, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles Everett, aka your friend Charles in the building, man. Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, man? What really? up? Oh man, thank you so much for the invite, man. Putting me on, man. I really appreciate it, man. And, and all the work that you guys do on highlighting di uh, different folks and on your guys' platform and everything y'all do is it, super incredible. So I'm glad to be here. Yo, thank you so much. That's listen, that's that's what that's what we're here for, man. Listen, it's there's so many great creators out there making all kinds of things that people love and they don't know about it and again like um you know a lot of the black liquor brands had passed me by and i didn't even know about them until i ran across mm -hmm. one of your videos and i was like wait black on what black on who <laughs> i'm like wait what? and i'm giving my money away to these other people oh no oh no yo yo yes. for real for real i yo i be telling everyone like yo what has jack daniels done for you lately what has bailey's done for you lately i don't even know uh shoot what's jose cueva what have they done for you lately you know what i'm saying like yeah, yeah. Uh, Tennessee, all of these dudes man absolutely nothing they just they just take 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 man so yeah i'm just glad i was able to find a niche and be able to like you know really show these folks off and, I, and you know i think in all the products the products is good you know what i mean yeah. but, uh we just have to know about it right you know you go into a liquor store and you might see you know a few hundred bottles but you might only know like five or ten brands so yeah. like anything i could do to help a lot of these small businesses or whatever you know what i'm saying spread their word and get people to just try them like because i feel like if you try it you'll buy it you know what i'm saying so right. again, uh shit, let give let people know so they you know they hopefully they'll try it and then they'll buy it and they spread and they get other stores yeah. and before you know it's not just black on liquor it's just liquor this is just yes, what we're liquor. doing yeah man you know listen, exactly. yeah, say that bro listen that, and that's that's you know that's what prompted this feature on our channel and whatnot was just we just started running into people who were doing excellent things man we just felt like listen you know what let's help uplift these people it's a service i mean listen we we're fans of this stuff we don't just come bring people along like we're fans of the stuff that they do but um but let's 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 back up a little bit so how did you get started on this on this road doing this man? i get started so that's actually an interesting story so it was about two years ago actually it was around my birthday and um i found an uh, advertisement for this uh brand called burr brothers right they're one of they were i think they're either the first or maybe just the uh one of the only black owned distilleries in kentucky it's created by three brothers the um marvel brothers if actually i have a bottle right here hold on one second one second one, one, one second. Uh oh uh oh we're about to see some stuff man listen see something good now. <laughs> right here I actually saw an adver I saw an advertisement for this brand, Burrow Brothers. They're uh, uh, one of the only black-owned bourbons and dist distilleries in Kentucky, right? And so I went to, and I was searching around them. I live in Virginia, which is a control state. Okay. So uh, they didn't have it in Virginia, but they were in D.C. And then I found a black-owned liquor store in D.C. to go to. And so I went there looking for this bottle, and they didn't have it. But the owner bernie uh he actually 
started telling me about all these other different black owned brands so like so i ended up buying the foudre i think you've had it before yeah, yeah. uh los hermanos uh, uh 1978 i that was a tequila and then that whiskey Ooh. right over there on the on that one corner Yo. Uh, yeah that that, I got that's, the, that's the one that's the only one that i've not been able to find and i and i've been trying to order it is is that whiskey right man that's the one I, I got. That's the next oh, one. That's the one you were telling us about. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna yeah. have. Hey, honestly, we could go into we could go into it. They are no longer in business, unfortunately. Oh. I, that's a whole nother story. But um, <laughs> there is a but there is a store that still has some leftover inventory. So okay. I'll send you a bottle. That'll okay, be like my you. gift to the pod, man. I'll send you a thank bottle. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, man, yeah. Charles really is your friend. For those who don't know, go to his Instagram. It's your friend Charles. You are friend charles and whatnot yeah, you really yeah, are friend. i appreciate that man so um so you so so you started you know just finding out about all of these wonderful brands and whatnot um yeah. and you just started because i know I, I see you going to all the festivals and whatnot yeah yeah i mean so like to back it up like i started just collecting and then you know people will come over and i'll like just tell the story about some of these men like hey i found out about this i found out about that and i'll start buying them and then i had a little bar going and people will ask me be like hey i've never heard of any of these brands before and so then i was just like well you know what let me let me let me let me make a TikTok. let me start making TikToks, right and then like it just kind of you know and you know once you start you doing something new and then like you um just get better at it and better and it just started growing i didn't know i made i made tiktok videos and didn't expect anyone to see my videos right and then but you know you just start learning the tick um little tricks and just by making it and it just kind of grew to what it is today mm. and then um of course like i found out about different events and you know they'll invite me out and stuff like that so okay. i mean there's this one really great one called taste of black spirits they they're actually a traveling event based out of detroit uh, they were in Brooklyn last year, yeah. and they're going to bring yeah. it back to Brooklyn this year. Mm -hmm. um, but they mm -hmm. had in Detroit. They're going to be in Miami in February. They're going to be in Houston too. Ooh. They even talked about doing Ghana. So, oh, like like Yo, they're doing some great man. things. They doing some great things over there. Great. I got my passport. Shit, <laughs> I got my passport. <laughs> talking about baby shoot man but yeah they're doing great work down here in dc i mean i'm originally from north carolina but i'm in the dc area now okay. and um uh there's another one called bose fest where there's this black owned distributor chanel turner actually the owner of food Dre, uh, she actually owns her own distribution company and so uh what? she has a huge festival like i mean thousands of people come out of that one every year which is wow. really cool and, and that's you know the one, that's the one thing that i've i've, I've heard in a lot of different industries that it's the distribution that always gets us yeah, yeah. that's how they, yeah. they 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 tax everything on our desperate distribution so i was like we i'm so i'm this is the first time me hearing that there's a black owned, black owned distribution company yeah there's a there's a few like so the thing about the spirit industry and this kind of goes with beer and wine is a little bit different but especially for spirits is one of the most regulated industries in america right? right so there's like the three tiered system that you have to go through where there's the producer the distributor and then the retailer and so like you know everyone gets a cut you know what i'm saying yeah and so like if you're a really big company you just been doing this forever whatever right like Tito's, whatever, they're just big, they distribute everywhere, like whatever, right. right? But you're a smaller brand just getting started out. Like, you know, just to make what's in this bottle right here, like I'm gonna, I don't have one right, I can't reach for a vodka right now, but yeah. let's just say I had a vodka, for instance, like in my hand, imagine the vodka. That vodka is probably one of the cheapest liquors to make, right? Mm -hmm. You can okay. make vodka in the afternoon. But mm -hmm. um, just to get, but like, let's say you don't own a distillery, like there's, a, set up a distillery you know million yeah, dollars yeah, off yeah, it, right? yeah, so you go to someone who has a distillery to make it for you right. and like so just to make that initial run of a few thousand bottles or whatever you're probably looking at well over 10k just off just off rip like right. ten thousand, okay. just that you haven't bottled it you haven't labeled it <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sell, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying right, so like right. that's why you see some of these companies where it's like hey i might only be in one or two states or whatever like they're just growing right. they're doing their thing or whatever but you mm -hmm. know if you pour your whole life savings into something yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you just can't afford to be everywhere all at yeah, once you know what yeah. i mean yeah. so yeah it's the dis the distribution is tough man and like uh you know getting into stores and um 
you know. And I heard that's another hard part too is getting into stores because you can have the you can have all the bottle made up, the label made up, and the liquor yeah. made up. Is now you have to sell this like anything else. Yeah. Because yeah. if, hey. if the companies don't if the liquor stores don't say they don't want it, they'll just tell you, okay, leave me a bottle, okay, and we'll taste it later. Yeah, and like and think about think about you go to a liquor store. And there's all the bottles there, but you you see the stuff that's dusty. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you see the stuff oh, yeah. that's dusty, <laughs> yeah. way, right? So I mean, you're just competing, and it's like that's why you see some people, so many celebrities or whatever with the liquor, because it's like even the bot the product doesn't have to be all that good. You know what I'm saying? But right. you know, Kevin Hart said buy this, or Jamie Foxx said buy yeah, it, or whatever, right. whatever, or George Clooney, whatever, and they just right. know that celebrity, so they're gonna pick it up. That like they don't even uh, you might not even know what. The bottle tastes like, like, but you know, like, right, hey, yeah. this is uh, Jenner back by him, you know, yeah, it's back by them, yeah. So, like, yeah, so just being a small company company in the space in general is just tough, you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially if you don't have the money to, hey, put this cardboard cutout or something on there, right. or whatever, yeah. every yeah. store you go to, or even getting all the different sizes. Even that's gonna stuff. cost you money. That's gonna cost you money too. A, exactly. a cardboard cutout display yeah. set. <laughs> and you're talking about one store. <laughs> one like, store, yeah. another store up the street. You got to yeah. do it for that one too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it, it's it's rough out there. So yeah. I mean, when I think about all these different entrepreneurs and stuff like that, man, it's just incredible to, um, you know, I'm inspired seeing their stories and hear their hear their journeys is and all the stuff they had to go through you know what i mean um i was talking to um gosh i wish i had the can beside me right now but it's called black viking beer um it's uh they have uh one they only have one flavor i think it's called zinza bar or something like that but it's a fantastic beer easy easy drinking beer i'm not having a beer person this got mm -hmm. this this beer got me into beer or whatever right <laughs> and then yeah and uh he told he told me a distributor told him that black people don't drink craft beer and it's like <clears throat> that's his and that's insane exactly exactly we don't drink your craft beer you know what I mean? <laughs> but this dude like if you just taste it you're like bro this take it's almost like beer is so incredible because it can make it taste like anything. But you know what right. I'm saying? Like, no, no, your Bud Light tastes disgusting. This is good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're the your 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 beer tastes like piss water. This is some other stuff. You know what I mean? But it's, it's hard to. But like you say, it kind of goes in that distribution. Like, hey, sell it to the distributors, selling it to the store, to getting the distributors to put you out in stores and stuff. Yeah. And, and, and they always uh, want to undercut you. That's the other. That's the other aspect of it. You're like, exactly. okay. What would you do for me? Uh, what would you yeah. do for me? You gotta, you, just... rub, you gotta rub some backs and all, yeah. rub some hands or whatever. And some yeah. money's got like, okay, I, I'm not. Oh. I'm only gonna make fifty cents a bottle. I'm only gonna make a dollar off the bottle. Yeah. Whatever I'm gonna yeah. do. But you have to. Yeah, but if you're a big up. company, you just like screw it. It's a loss yeah. or whatever. We'll just we'll flood the market and then we'll get it back on it yeah. later. But like if you're a small company, you know what I'm talking about. You just put your life savings into making it. Yeah. You know how hard is it to get into stores and sell it and I mean trying to get online is kind of tough because i mean you 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 know shipping that this is not light you know what i'm saying like, right, right. Yo, not bro, cheap, you know what i mean so it's crazy because um um you know one of my aunts put me on to uh, a wine out of south carolina mm -hmm. um it wasn't black owned but it, it was it was um it was it was it was really tasty and um the shipping costs just about as much as the bottle i'm like damn i could have had two bottles of this for the cost of the shipping i know i know <laughs> like, it's rough, man. It's rough. The one thing I can tell people, though, is, and people don't like when I say this, it, so let's say buying one bottle, shipping might be like 25 sometimes it's $30 or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But if you buy two bottles, the price of shipping don't really go up that much. Yeah. So, yeah. like, if you buy more, you can technically buy more for the same amount of shipping. You know, people don't want to hear yeah. all that. Yeah. But, but, that, but, that, but that's the trick, though. If you're buying, mm -hmm. like, two or three bottles from the brand, they, they, the shipping's not going to be the ship is going to be about the same as it was to ship one bottle yeah, so that's yeah. i don't know how that works with you with uh you you at ups or whatever but listen that's just this is how it works yeah yeah no yeah, they only have to go one place and then say okay instead of you ordering uh, double the amount okay put the extra five of every extra two and a half pounds yeah we'll take yeah. the we'll, we'll take the loss because you're going to the same spot yeah, yeah something probably, like that something like, i don't yeah up, all that shipping anyway up for yeah. up to a certain amount of pounds um I, I another uh, okay good bro uh what i'm gonna put you in a little bit of heat but what kind of <laughs> bottle what kind of, okay so what i know this for for different for people is like okay this is the bottle i drink when i chill and this is the bottle that i drink for when i go out 
what is your top bottle when you chill? You say, oh, lucky is right here. <laughs> and when I want to go right. out, and when I go out, this is what get, won't get, will get me there, but it won't get me over, over to that, that next spot. <laughs> right, so it depends on what kind of mood I'm in. So like, if it's just me, I'm just chilling. I'm, I'm usually getting a bourbon. So like, I got this Fort Mose right here. This is a black old bourbon right here. I love this one. That Den of Thieves Ginger Vanilla. I love that. I, I have a swig of it left. I've been saving it. <laughs> I just got a swig. <laughs> uh, Shoot. I also love yak, like some a good brandy, a good cognac. Those are always yeah. good. You know, those are just kind of like my meat bottles or whatever. But mm -hmm. if I'm about to go out, you know what I'm saying? It's uh, you know, I, I like, I'll do some tequila, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah, because yeah, you, you, know, you, you do that quicker, just relax exactly, for the rest of the night. You know, I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like tequila just kind of puts you like, you just in the mood to have a good time, you know? What yep. I mean? yep. Yep, Dude, yep. Yeah. I, I I had a bad story in Vegas. I don't want to get into it. <laughs> I can't. Me and Tequila don't get along no more. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> me, and, man. me and Tequila don't get along that well. <laughs> it's a whole yeah. long thing now. I can't mess around with Tequila too much no more. Oh, right, so man. listen, man, because I know we, we we talk you know we've been talking about the different brands and stuff like that, but we know the people out there. Everybody's used to what they've been drinking. So I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just name, name some stuff, and you can tell me if you know an alternative that the people should try. So let's All just right. start with the obvious stuff. Tequila. What's a what's a good replacement for for Patron and Samana and all that other stuff? Oh man, so I mean, I could go, I could grab some bottles if you want me to. If you want yeah, baby. Yeah, exactly. So like, probably, so probably one of my favorites. That I usually drink a lot is this one, Los Hermanos 1978. This is made by two brothers in Baltimore. Uh, they started their company in like 2020. It's black owned, veteran owned, and they have uh, this Blanco, which I mean, you can tell it's empty, but the <laughs> Reposado, and they just released an Añejo. Uh, I think it's actually launching this month. So yeah, check check them out. Uh, that I know in my store. Yeah, yeah. I, and I, I This is. um. They're, they're based in Baltimore. They're in a, quite a few states. But uh, if you need someone that ships everywhere, tequila with friends, super fantastic as well. This is made okay. by, um, I don't think they're frat brothers, but they're, they're five friends in uh, Texas. And okay. uh, they used to have a website talking about tequila. This is Añejo they just released. And okay. uh, they also have a Blanco on our episode. This is super good as well, too. This goes in your margaritas. You can just sip okay. this straight. Like, this is fantastic. I can't write can't, tequila friends and Los Hermanos. I can't recommend them enough. And there's also T Capri. She's really great. She's out of PG County. Uh, this is a black woman owned tequila. Okay. I have the, her episode right here. This one, all of these are uh, additive free. So there's no extra sugars or flavorings or anything like that too on it. So like she has this one. So uh, that's the one thing that always gets me when they add those stupid flavors. I remember Paris yeah. Hilton did one of those damn bottles and she did a tequila. The thing tasted like soap. That Paris, <laughs> soap. That, that Paris Hilton thing. Yo, that oh, thing tasted man. like soap, bro. I wasted so much money on that damn bottle. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, uh, damn, I didn't even know she had one, but man, damn, man. <laughs> Yo, this was back in the day, though. This was way back in the day when she was pop more popular. <laughs> oh, so, God, uh, yeah. let's, 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 let's get to the next king of the ball, Hennessy, Cognac. Hennessy, all right. So, gosh, where where's that bottle at? Uh, this by Dennis McKinley, Yak, uh, my Nyack. This is super mm -hmm. good. So, this is their, actually, actually this New York version. This is the one that uh, mm -hmm. I think... What is it? Is it uh, Lil Ma, whatever? Young M.A.? This is the one that she reps. But yeah, this is actually um, owned by a black man, uh, Dennis McKinley. He also has like crew lounges and stuff too. He actually okay. has Top Dogs restaurant. Like He's a serial entrepreneur or whatever. Okay. He has the original one is actually my favorite. He has his VSOP, but the original one is actually my favorite as well. And he okay. also has some br different brands and stuff as well. Um, also, when it comes to cognac, uh, man, I'm, it's, I can't reach for it, no, but it's all the way over there. Okay, okay. Here, See, the thing, I'm not, wi I'm, I'm not wireless, though. I got this wire <laughs> on me. That's the problem. So, for your Florida listeners, I got this Revente. This is a VSOP cognac as well. This Ooh. one, they're based out of Jacksonville, Florida. I think they're actually like the official cognac of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Don't quote me on that one, though. Okay. But uh, this one is also a black woman-owned cognac, straight out of France. And then there's one more. This is uh, this one might not necessarily be like that Hennessy, like because this one's a, a little bit sweeter or whatever. But this is Lazare. 
This is a honey cognac liqueur. Goes for everything, whatever, right? Look at this bottle. This one's, uh, this they are based out of New Orleans. Okay. All right, but yeah, this one's so good. This one, I actually have a video. I recorded it. I haven't released it yet. So I have a um, aunt that's 93 years old, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, people will tell you she's been drinking Hennessy out the bottle. Like, that's all she drinks. <laughs> all right. And I gave her some of this, and she uh -huh. loves it. She loved it. And she, you know, she tell you the truth. You right, know what right. I'm saying? She, she, you yeah, know, she's like, like, she playing around no more. She ain't got no time. Right. She ain't got no time. Said, yeah, when she <laughs> said she like this, I was like, yo, this, this is so. Okay, this I, is I, good, I good, have good, to. Good. I'm gonna release that video eventually, but yeah, this Lazare, super delicious, super smooth. Like okay. even if someone who doesn't like to drink brown or someone who's like, man, Henny might be too strong, or whatever. You give them right. some of this, uh -huh. they, they love it. Okay, okay. Um, let's uh, rum. Let's rum. Oh man, so much rum. So I'm just going I'm gonna pull out this one that's close close to me. So ten to one. This is a uh, Caribbean rum. So this one is actually I think the dude is named from Mark, named Mark Farrell. He's from he's originally from Trinidad. He actually re recently received an investment from Sierra, the musician or whatever. Okay. So that's why you see his brand out a lot more. But uh, he has some really nice. This is a really kind of smooth, almost like a sipping rum. Okay. So like this, and it's actually a blend. So this one is their uh, blend from Jamaica and Dominican Republic, and they also have Black History Month bottles as well. So oh, yeah, cool. yeah, it's, you know white rum dark rum and then you could probably see this in the stores right now but they have this black history month edition this one was last year's um, okay. um they're gonna come out with a new one this year as well but yeah okay. this super delicious rum i can't say enough about those and those are kind of readily available because they're a bit more a bit more everywhere and, okay. and where's another one off the top of my head uh hey i man i'm actually running low on rum i drink a lot of rum. all right <laughs> so, oh man after my own heart oh, man after my own heart this, uh durante too she's actually in dc she actually owns her own bar here in dc as well so yeah okay. this is her uh white rum but she also has a dark one too that's super fantastic uh i think it's uh the rum's original from puerto rico which is dope okay. and then also dang I have a story about this next one. If I can find this bottle real quick. Cast and Cane. So back when I had maybe like 500 followers, I think, or maybe I was just at a thousand. So this is the first brand to ever send me anything for free. Like he uh, did me, asked me for my address. And it turned out we, we both lived in the same city. So I just drove oh, over, met his family or whatever. Okay. And uh, he was actually, uh, he actually worked at the Pentagon. So he's a um, army veteran. Um, gosh, his name's escaping me off the top of my head. I'm gonna remember it as soon as we're done talking. Okay. But yeah, Casting Kane is a super delicious rum. I think he gets this one from the, um, uh, Gosh, it's not the U.S. It's from the U.S. Virgin Islands. He gets okay. he imports it or whatever, and then bottles it in North Carolina. But yeah, this one's super delicious. One of my favorite dark. One of my favorites uh, is Castle okay. Kane, okay. and they ship everywhere too. Okay, sure. Okay, so let's get on to uh, whiskey. Whiskey. Okay, so we all know about Uncle Newers, right? So okay, yeah. we we could we could leave that one. Great, great recommendation. Yeah. Uncle Newers is great. We got a bottle show to people because it's there's always some, there's always one in the crowd that ain't. Ah, oh, so I have a, I have a few different Uncle Newers. All right, so I went to the distillery, and so you have the two original. I actually don't have the two original bottles that you can get at the liquor stores, but this one I got it in Tennessee. I visited the distillery right Ooh. there. This is their master's blend. Okay. So yeah, this wow. is like the best of the best bottles. And then I also have their single barrel right here. Now this one is a pretty new release. Uh, and this is actually a store pick. So El Lax is a local liquor store down here in the DC area. So they had a single barrel store pick, but you can mm -hmm. also find their single barrel out in stores and you can order it online as well. But okay. yeah, um, Fawn Weaver, the CEO of Uncle Noor, super great lady. Like I, she is such inspired. She is so inspiring just because like you can like, if you send her a DM, she could re she'll she you she'll probably reply honestly. Mm -hmm. Like I saw her in the crowd, and you think like you know she's a multi millionaire, mm -hmm. to, you know multi billion do dollar like brand. And you right. can just reach out and touch her. You could talk to her. You know what I'm saying? She'll take right. the pictures. She'll. So I gave her a little elevator pitch one time, and she was like, you know she you know she'll talk. She she she's a woman of the people. I'll say that. Okay. 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 Woman and of the people. And then, um, also. 
one of my favorites is Fort Mose. This is 1738. This one uh, is made down in Florida, and he's a really great guy. So Fort Mose, this actual, actual place, is named after the first free black town in America. And so okay. uh, he, uh, the guy, uh, uh, Victor George, he heard this story and just wanted to spread the word of Fort Mose. And so he has all the history and stuff about it on the back, which is really cool. And the juice is great. <laughs> and uh, for every bottle he sells, yeah, you, you can't, it doesn't matter if the juice isn't good, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, exactly. yeah. But for every bottle he sells, he actually donates a dollar to the Fort Mose Foundation, which goes to help supporting and um, uh, revitalizing that area and stuff too, which is cool. That's dope. And then of course, I mean, Whiskey Right, which I mean, granted, they don't, they don't, he can't make that one anymore but i'll make sure yeah. to send that one to you and then also dinner thieves that one's also fantastic as yeah, well yeah, so yeah, yeah. there's so in my class right now so yeah yeah it's a good one and then also <laughs> actually in Shout new york to, yeah new york to, you might heard of thoughts straight bourbon mm -hmm. he's, this is, he's from new york as well so i mean okay. uh he, this is pretty good it's a little bit uh, 90 proof a little bit stronger or whatever too Ooh. but he has a yeah. it's, it's, it's 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 a good pour though it's, a, it's an enjoyable i put this on a block of ice is a really good uh, pour. Okay. 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 And uh do we miss anything? Oh, wine. 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 So, listen, man, there's more wine in the world than <laughs> I can <laughs> even like every Oh, there's a ton of wine out there. So, here here's the deal though. I'm 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 going to be I'm going to be honest. Most of the wine I like tastes like fruit juice, all right? So, I'm slowly <laughs> evolving my palate, but if I'm going to make a recommendation, is this Shoe Crazy Sweet Bella? Uh, okay. This is made by two ladies in Virginia. Uh, it was a mother daughter team, and uh, they almost died in a car accident. Wow. And so oh. they were like, after they after they went through that traumatized experience, like they were like, hey, we're not going to just uh, you know, we're we're going to make something. You know what I'm saying? Like we're going to live life to the full. So they created this wine brand. And uh, if you ever heard of Stella Rose, which is like, you know, just a sweet wine, this is a black owned yeah. Stella Rose, right? Okay. So this is okay. super fantastic. I love it. But if you have a more, more sophisticated palate, <laughs> uh, this Michael Lavelle is uh, super fantastic as well, as well. This is a Zippendale. This is made by some Howard alums. This is super fantastic. Um, dark, rich, cherry notes, all that good stuff. Okay. And uh, there's so many other great wines out there. And um, I actually have highlighted a few on my website. That's uh, at yourfriendcharles.com. I'm kind of evolving that to kind of make it come my recommendation list as well. So if you check that, check out that website, you'll be able to find other types of wines and stuff um, I recommend. Okay. Okay. Did I miss anything? I think I covered them all. Oh, I mean, uh, we can do we can do vodka, gin. Vodka? You know, there's oh, yeah. so much. You know what I mean? So yeah. I mean, vodka. You know. The same person who makes Fort Mose also makes a vodka um, called, um, I think just called Victor George's Vodka. That one's really good. It's actually pretty affordable too. I think the bottle's like 21 bucks, okay. but that one's really good. And it doesn't taste like a $21 vodka. I'll just say that. You okay. know what I'm saying? I'll put that against Tito's any day. Um, Quiet Storm, I just made a video about them. Super fantastic. They're also based in Florida. They have a bunch of cute, cool flavors. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about the flavors soon in my next video, so check okay. out for the, okay. wait for that one. Yeah. And then there's just so many different flavor of vodkas. I mean, this Red Rose I have made by a super young lady, super great young lady down in uh, North Carolina. She's fantastic. Of course, the Poudre, who has that pomegranate flavor as well, too. So, yeah, yeah. There's, just, there's a lot out there, man. Like, it's yeah, hard to, like... Yo, you know. um, shout, shout out to uh, shout out shout out to Plush Vodka. My man, my, uh, a friend of yes. mine, owner a Plush Vodka. Uh, it's a plum flavored vodka. I believe they got different flavors out now. Yo, shout out to them and whatnot. So yeah, yeah, but you but you're right. It's, it's a ton of stuff, which is why we you know which is why we plush here. Yeah. So listen, and plush is cool because the bottle also look the bottle looks cool just the shape. Yeah, and then um, actually, do I ha I still have the bottle? I know I don't have. I think I'm out of the vodka. But um, oh, this was one of my first videos i did on tiktok so yeah there you go plus, plus vodka. it's the plum this is my first plum vodka as well he also has an original too but okay. yeah um su super fantastic he has a great story too like if you go on his website he was talking about like you know he couldn't get like investors or whatever so he just had to hustle work hard or whatever and like he said he drove for uber and stuff just to fund this you know what i mean which mm -hmm. is it's a super great story yep yep with, with all these entrepreneurs man just getting off from the, from the ground up it's so inspiring and seeing that we're starting to get distribution, starting to get our the own thing going on. 
Yeah. They started saying, okay, well, you have to, all you got to do is look for it. Yeah. Like yeah. when we, like when we do like our, the, like the other artists that we do for comic books and the other artists that we do for, uh, they're building their own brands and building their own things. There's so many people out there. All you have to do is look, you might have to look a little bit hard because you yeah. know how they, they yeah. dial the bandwidth, they dial yeah. the bandwidth yeah. down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, so, but once you find them, it's a whole beautiful community that's there, that's thriving, that's making things happen, that's making moves. And with the liquor company, I'm so excited to try. I need, to, I got a list right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't make no mistake. <laughs> But by, by the time you speak to him next time, he's gonna have a bottle of every one of them. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what? And you're in New York. You guys are in New York, right? Yes. Yeah. So you guys are really fortunate. So there's a. So I know you guys know about Happy Cork, right? They're in Brooklyn. No. Nah. Uh, I heard uh, this one. I heard oh, it. Oh yeah. yeah, Happy Cork in Brooklyn. It's a black woman-owned uh, liquor store. They actually ship. Uh, they actually ship too. But they have a ton of different. Um, uh, brands and they do tastes and stuff in their store as well so yeah happy cork i, I the owner i i'm going i don't i don't remember her name real quick but yeah they're they're super great so uh happy cork in brooklyn there's actually another one in harlem i can't remember the, his name though I, i'm i'm i'm, I'm right. we'll find, upset it? It. yeah uh, we'll yeah find well, happy cork it's great yeah. yeah happy cork is about to get a phone call tomorrow morning <laughs> listen they have so much there tell them i tell them i sent you too because we spent some on some adventure tell them i sent you like your friend charles said told me to come <laughs> happy like, i got a lot of friends named get... charles who's <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yo, oh, but you want one bottle that I'm, I'm seeing that you're missing. You need a Mama Juana bottle up there. So I, oh, yeah, yeah. So we, 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 talk, we gotta we talk to you about that. Uh, it, it's Kalo K, the Mama Juana God. He, he makes Mama Juana. I don't know if you've had Mama Juana yet. Mama Juana. Uh, I haven't had that one just yet. Mama, Mama Juana is. It sounds like a little Dominican moonshine type of thing. Little, little Dominican. Okay, okay, uh, let's yeah. Yeah, we, we get the work side now and uh, get you some down there. Hey, yeah, we'll trade, man. I'm giving. You, I'll send you the whiskey, right? You sending me the mar mar marijuana? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, in a, I need you to gonna, take the channel international, man. Yeah. yeah you gonna, you gonna, you gonna yeah. Sign this affidavit. We are not responsible. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're not responsible for what happens <laughs> after you drink oh, this. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm that, to start my car with this man. Yeah, man. man. <laughs> you might want to yeah. stay home that day and hide all shop. Just hide. Uber it. Oh, <laughs> Whatever you do, it was Uber. <laughs> Never get by the wheel over that. Um, but um, so listen, man. Tell the people how to find you. You know where you at. You know where you, where they can see you at. Oh, and what's right. your next big event? Yeah. So my next big event. Um, there's actually a few. So um. Taste of Black Spirits, Miami. I'm not affiliated with that company, but uh, they're doing they're doing something big. I believe is uh, the last weekend in February. Uh, they always bring out tons of people, tons of different liquors, uh, tons of different brands out there, and uh, they always uh, have a top notch event. Um, top notch. Uh, there's another one uh, actually in Baltimore. Actually, that's the uh, same weekend. Uh, by this company called Brits and Black, two young ladies. They're actually, I'm, I want to be them when I grow up for real. Like just the way they execute events, like right, super right. fantastic. So those are probably my two that's coming up the soonest. But then of course, um, in the summer, there's Barrel and Flow down in Pittsburgh. That one is a kind of a black owned beer festival. Super oh, fantastic. Sure. They actually do a lot of great stuff there. They do a lot of cool things where you don't know, have black owned companies and then some not black owned companies where you know they make them collaborate like the not black owned companies hey you have to collaborate and with these with the other companies and you they share a lot of uh ideas and stuff with that so those are probably my two biggest events i mean those are probably my biggest events coming up okay. um and then where to find me is just at your friend charles the letters you are friend charles on all platforms TikTok, instagram um i do a little bit on the youtube not as much as you guys i still i still need to get on working like get into youtube where it needs to be you know okay. what i'm saying just put the energy into it and then also have a website that's hopefully by the time you see this is slightly updated okay. at uh the letters you are friend charles .com. okay okay yo listen man so listen we told you we was gonna bring you the information we told you we was gonna put you on Charles Everett, a.k.a. your friend Charles, man. Listen, we gave you a lot of alternatives, so now you got no reason to go reach for them other bottles. We gave you some nice black-owned bottles to come out of your community that tastes great. Let me tell you something. I'm, uh, Dinner Thieves, we cracked it open the other day for the 100th yeah. episode. 
Listen, I I, I, I was kind of mad because I bought the chocolate and uh, uh, Jason Armstrong actually gave me the ginger vanilla and these dudes almost wiped out my chocolate bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to replenish that. Um, yeah. but we're not just promoting, man. We fans, we, we drink it. I got some of that Dinner Thieves in the glass right here. Um, you know, go out. You know, support us, support us. We got good stuff out there. Because I know sometimes for me, my problem is, is that sometimes we want to support, but, you know, the quality is not there. But um, none of these brands and none of these flavors are, have any of that problem and whatnot. Yeah. And one thing I want, not to interrupt, but the one thing I like to uh, tell everyone is like, if you're going to put your life savings into something or start a business like this, you're not making the bottom shelf stuff. Like, all this stuff is premium. Exactly. All right. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, everything I told you about, like, listen, um, Ain't, ain't there's nothing on my shelf that's like bottom shelf. What the, we I don't, we don't make well liquor. All right, I just right. say that. You know what I'm saying? If it's <laughs> gonna be the first, like, if you gonna if you gonna make something, you gonna make something that's good. You wanna make the best. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I everything on the shelf is all these entrepreneur entrepreneurs trying to make the best. That's what's that. up. That's what's up. So that's listen, what we man. love to hear, man. We love to hear us. We see we're moving forward. As we tell all of our people that come on the show, man, the door's always open for you. You can come at any time. You got something going on, man. Do not be afraid to reach out, knock on the door, and show up. This is, you know, this is your home as well as ours and everybody else that comes through here. This is how we roll and whatnot. Once again, man, your friend Charles, make sure you check him out on all the socials. You are friend Charles. Check out his website, yourfriendcharles.com when it gets updated and whatnot. And, uh, you know, don't forget, you know, Check, tap in with us every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time here on YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Podcasts, and every other place that you get your streaming goodness and whatnot. We will be here. Don't forget to check out our channels. Check us on the socials and whatnot. And, yo, we're going to see you next time. Man K101 Podcast, k K, Big Chase, and, of course, your friend Charles. Peace. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Peace.